Ford Fiesta 1.4 TDCI. This is my cousin's car. His airbag one piece turned on before some time, a few months ago. And we are about to find why. So after the reading the memory, we get B1877 pyrotechnic pretensioner driver side and B1881 again pyrotechnic pretensioner passenger side. On the diagnostics is giving information for this error that it's not pyrotechnical pretensioner but it's seat belt pretensioner. I don't know what what is why is giving this different information but I get I guess on the diagnostics too is more accurate. Okay, we're going to need some white, so we bring our heavy duty. White lamp. I don't know what the word for that. Okay. We are going to start with the first error about the passenger side seat. This is the pyrotechnic sensor here. It's located here. Uh, it's uh, attached to seat belt tensioner. Don't know the word. Uh, to be able, uh, you can see its wiggles. Uh, my cousin said that they uh, wash the interior, and maybe when where they, uh, they uh, attach it again, they forget to tension this bolt, and that's why the car is giving that error. So to be able to. Uh, uh, get this uh, not stick you need to remove this console from here it's on clips you can just pull it there is uh, there was one uh, bolt with screwdriver you can remove it and after that Just need to tighten it. Oh, you must talk to factory specs. Okay. Uh, uh, I tried this before shooting that. Just want to show you how I fix it. So after I tightened it, I read the memory again, and the fault was gone. So this was the fault. So to be able to get to the seat belt, you need to remove that console. It's pulled by one bolt and two clips. Uh, and after that, you need to remove the whole assembly here. For removing it, you need to remove the uh, rear uh, seats. Uh, well, the that's uh, part and that. To remove the, the seat belt, there is uh, four bolts, two here and two here. And uh, the seat belt, you can remove it easily. This is the good for force, it's everything, it's easy to remove. The, the lower seat belt is held by two bolts here and here. And during the, the disassemble, uh, I fi find out that the, this last uh, is isolated and someone put uh, a resistor here to fold the ECM bypass the signal and maybe this uh, that resistor is no longer uh, giving proper information and the the car is triggered the the uh, air back lamp uh, so 
Uh, I'm going to show you how to test the seat belt. Uh, you can uh, hear how it wiggles some maybe buff inside or I don't know. Uh, the, uh, the car has collision before time and maybe uh, they, uh, in this time they uh, decide to put that resistor and not changing the seat belt. The hardest part of removing that panel was this uh, metal stick that's attached to the seat belt. Uh, it's undo by one bolt, but after that, like you can see, it's strange kind of way to remove it. You must turn it to, to be able to move it. It's kind of hard, but you can do it without that. It's, it's uh, placed here. Oh, this is the removed uh, seat bell. Uh, like you can see, it has two pins here, and the side there are two uh, metal pieces that is uh, making continuity between the, them. So uh, you need to remove one of the, the pieces from the pin to be able to check if is there uh, continuity between them. So I will show you how. Uh, okay, so I placed the, the screwdriver with the duct tape uh, to move the, the plastic pieces uh, away from the pin. So I will uh, check for continuity between the pins. It must have, it must have uh, some uh, resistance between them, so... But there is not. You will see when I remove the screwdriver. So when I put it to uh, 200 tons, it must have around 2 to 5 ohms resistance. But we have nothing. Uh, so this uh, seat belt is 40 and uh, I will going to change it and show you after that uh, what is the difference between a good one and a bad one. Okay. So the resistor of the seat belt is three point one ohms. Uh, if you want to do bypass the the ECM, you can put resistor like this. To trick it, but I'm going to change the seat belt. Okay, the, the new seat belt uh, arrived, so you can clearly see the difference. This is the old one, the 41. You can hear, and this is the new one. No sounds at all. So, uh, uh, does matter, I will show you how to test them. You set the multimeter to continuity and I will again use the screwdriver, plastic uh, uh, screwdriver. And we must listen for a sound. There is no sound. Okay, let's check the new one. I just pushing away the metal piece from the pins with the screwdriver. And like you can hear, there is a continuity in the new one. Okay, so we uh, put, uh, installed a diagnostic bus. And we are now going to check if the, we uh, fix the problem. Uh, here is the seat belt installed in place. The, uh, everything is put in place. The bolts and only left, left the, the panels. But we are going to show uh, 
if we resolve the problem. So, so uh, sorry about the diagnostic is on Bulgarian. So I'm going to translate you. Fourth Fiesta 203rd uh, Arbex. And just put the ignition. Ritz Kotz. Okay, this is for fault trading, and this means there are no fault codes in the memory. So we uh, fix the 1877 uh, error code.